The female reproductive system is a complex network of organs and structures designed for the purpose of reproduction. It includes both external and internal components that work together to produce eggs, or ova, facilitate fertilization, and support the development of a fetus. Here's a comprehensive note on the female reproductive organs and their functions. Let's delve into the external female reproductive organs. Starting with the vulva, which is the external part of the female genitalia, its main function is to protect the internal reproductive organs. The components of the vulva include the mons pubis, a fatty area over the pubic bone that provides cushioning, the labia majora, which are two large, fleshy folds of skin that enclose and protect the other external organs, the labia minora, smaller, thinner folds of skin situated within the labia majora that protect the vaginal and urethral openings, and the clitoris, a small, sensitive organ located at the top of the labia minora, playing a key role in sexual pleasure. The vestibule, enclosed by the labia minora, contains the openings to the urethra and the vagina. Moving on, the Bartholin's glands, located on either side of the vaginal opening, secrete lubricating fluid to moisten the vulva. Lastly, the perineum, the area between the vaginal opening and the anus, supports the pelvic floor muscles. Now, let's explore the internal female reproductive organs. The vagina, a muscular canal, serves as the passageway for menstrual flow, sexual intercourse, and childbirth. The cervix, the lower part of the uterus that opens into the vagina, allows the flow of menstrual blood from the uterus into the vagina and directs sperm into the uterus during intercourse. The uterus, a hollow muscular organ, is where a fertilized egg implants and develops into a fetus. It contracts during childbirth to help deliver the baby. The layers of the uterus include the endometrium, the inner lining that thickens during the menstrual cycle to prepare for possible implantation of a fertilized egg the myometrium, the middle muscular layer that contracts during labor, and the parametrium, the outer layer that provides protection and support. The fallopian tubes, two thin tubes, transport eggs from the ovaries to the uterus, and fertilization of the egg by sperm typically occurs here. Lastly, the ovaries, two small oval-shaped glands located on either side of the uterus, produce eggs and secrete hormones such as estrogen and progesterone. Eugenesis, the process of egg development occurs within the ovaries, and each ovary releases an egg approximately once a month during ovulation. Hormonal regulation. The female reproductive system is regulated by a complex interplay of hormones, primarily produced by the ovaries and the pituitary gland. These hormones include estrogen, which promotes the development and maintenance of female secondary sexual characteristics, regulates the menstrual cycle, and prepares the endometrium for potential pregnancy, progesterone, which prepares the endometrium for implantation of a fertilized egg and maintains pregnancy, follicle-stimulating hormone, or FSH, stimulates the growth of ovarian follicles in the ovary before the release of an egg. Lastly, luteinizing hormone, or LH, triggers ovulation and stimulates the production of progesterone by the corpus luteum. The menstrual cycle is a monthly process that prepares the female body for potential pregnancy. It consists of several phases. The menstrual phase, where the shedding of the endometrial lining results in menstrual bleeding. The follicular phase, during which FSH stimulates the growth of ovarian follicles and the endometrium begins to rebuild. Ovulation, a critical phase where a mature egg is released from an ovary and is available for fertilization. And the luteal phase, where the corpus luteum forms from the ruptured follicle and secretes progesterone, which further prepares the endometrium for implantation. Fertilization and pregnancy. Fertilization occurs when a sperm cell penetrates and merges with an egg cell in the fallopian tube. The fertilized egg, or zygote, travels to the uterus and implants in the endometrial lining, beginning the process of pregnancy. During pregnancy, the developing embryo and later fetus grow within the uterus, supported by the placenta, which facilitates the exchange of nutrients and waste between mother and baby. 
In conclusion, the female reproductive system is intricately designed to perform the essential functions of producing eggs, facilitating fertilization, and supporting the development of a fetus. Each organ and structure within the system plays a vital role in ensuring reproductive health and successful reproduction. Understanding the anatomy and physiology of the female reproductive organs is crucial for recognizing their importance and addressing any health issues that may arise.